outer internet. I've spent the morning recording a little video collab with Brenda from Conquering Mount Scrapboard. You will see that in the next video. I was going to spend the time doing some sewing as we chatted, but the conversation got too interesting and so I forgot to do the sewing. I was going to sew a little Christmas project. So instead, I'm going to spend this afternoon quickly doing some sewing to do a Christmas project because I haven't done a Christmas project this year yet. And as you may have noticed, it's almost Christmas. The project I want to do, well, I don't quite know what the project I want to do is, but I've got this fabric that I bought in New York and it's just so wonderful. <laughs> the, the big weird looking cats with their Christmas outfits. I've got to be able to make something out of this. I've had a couple of ideas about what I could do with the cats. The first is a pretty traditional looking block, which is actually based on something I saw on a Missouri Star video. I'm going to change it a bit from what they did though. The other idea I had was to make a sort of portrait gallery, maybe a yearbook page, and use this other fabric I've got with writing on it for like nameplates for each portrait. I'm not sure which one I like better, so maybe I should just do both? I think the first step is just cut out a bunch of cats and then decide what I want to do with them. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. We've got five of the cats are four and a half by five, and then I've got these two that are four and a half by five. This one is four and a half by five, but in landscape mode, and this one I think is four and a half by seven. This one's really tall. What I'm going to do is take four of these cats. I don't know which four yet, I'll have to choose four that I like. And they can go into the... this one. And then the other five, I'm going to turn into the... mugshots, school yearbook type arrangement. That's the plan, anyway. <laughs> about using a white background to represent the paper but I don't really like using large expanses of solid white so I think I might use this instead. I found it in my stash and it kind of reminds me of manila folders. It has a, a school feel to me. It's not bad. I wish now I hadn't used the solid for the background. I think it would have looked a lot better with some texture to the background, but I can add that with the quilting. I, I kind of got the, the thing I was looking for with the having it look like a, a yearbook or a board of directors. It's the North Pole Board of Directors board. It amuses me anyway. We'll see what it looks like once it's quilted. with this. It's boring. I think I'm going to set it aside for now and work on the other one and then come back to it with fresh eyes. I don't have a red that exactly matches the background so maybe I should put a green behind them instead. I kind of like the idea of using something non-Christmassy but making it feel like it's Christmas fabric. Brenda and I were talking about that this morning and I think it's a cool idea. 
rectangles aren't really going to work so I'm going to square up the cats to four and a half inches. And I think I'm going to give them flange borders to make them stand out a bit more. Oh, I like this so much better already than the last quilt. Normally I'd use the no waste method to make flying geese, but I want to preserve the orientation of the text, so I'm just going to cut rectangles and snowball them. After all that dense wood grain on the other one, I think I want to keep the quilting pretty loose and simple on this one. I'm really pleased with that, especially the flanges framing the cats. It gives them so much more definition. And that gives me an idea for how to fix the other quilt. It's too late to add flanges to it, but I think there's something else I could do. Yes, I found it. This rick rack is incredibly old, but I think it's still okay, and it should do the trick. I've never actually used rick rack before, but how hard can it be? Oh, that's much better. I actually really like this quilt now. Well, I think I succeeded in my aim of making something Christmassy with my cat fabric. What do you think? Which of them do you prefer? I had some very exciting news this week, or actually it will probably be a couple of weeks ago by the time you see this. I reached 1,000 subscribers! Yay! Thank you to everyone who subscribed. It's such an amazing feeling to think that that many of you think that my silly little videos are interesting enough to subscribe to. Thank you. Now, as those of you have been around here for a while know, I like to mark these milestones with a little bit of a giveaway. How it works is it's kind of half giveaway, half challenge. If you're a subscriber, you can leave a comment in this video with a one word prompt 
and I will select one of those prompts randomly and make a mini quilt inspired by that prompt. As always, how my brain interprets the prompt might not be the same way that you were thinking of it, so I can't guarantee that what you end up with is what you expect, but hopefully you'll enjoy what you end up with. Your prompt has to be just one word, but it can be anything. It might be an object, it might be a style, it might be a colour, it might be some vague concept. It's entirely up to you. You just need to leave your prompt in a comment on this video or the next video before midnight on the 12th of January New Zealand time. So for you, if, especially if you're in North America, that's likely to be the 11th of January. So make sure you check the time difference. After the 12th of January, I will select a comment at random and use that prompt to make a quilt and then I'll send it out to you. It'll probably take a couple of months for me to get it done because I have a day job but you will get your mini quilt. It doesn't matter where you live in the world you can still enter and I'll ship the prize to you. You just have to be a subscriber. Thank you again to all of my subscribers. And if you're not subscribed yet, well, you know what to do. Do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing. And leave a comment anyway. Merry Kirihimete, internet, and kakite anō.